So in terms of our last segment, um, talking about uh, negative influences and, and ghosts on people or family members, <clears throat> if you were trying to will away and get rid of some of these uh, negative influences or, or spirits, or ghosts, what have you, would you do that with the person present in your, in your field or what, could you do that in the form of prayer or is there a, another way to navigate it? Any which way you can do it. When they're present, probably um, a better time depending you have to judge that see, see. Uh, and when they're, when they're in another room or not even around you're in rapport with your children and your family 24-7 every moment of existence the residence is there it's life it's living so you, whether they're near you or away from you uh, there's no distance uh, with the heart it's already here. It's already there here. It's already there here, here, there. See? Here, there, wherever. See? So this is a part of our recognition as souls, spirit souls, that there is the appearance of distance and space. But psychically, it's, it's you think is what it is. See? So the fact that you can think of somebody when they're not here means you're with them. In a sense, I'm not proving it. This is not a scientific laboratory on psychic phenomena. Uh, but this is more a psychic uh, understanding, intuition of the continuity between brains, minds, and their instantaneous connecting, and the physical bodies, which uh, are in time and space and ruled by time and space, matter and energy. And to be with that person on the same level, you got you got to move towards that. But the awareness is transcendent see, of those barriers, and so you want you want to. Add prayer to it? Yes. Prayer. Wishing for goodness. My mother was one who would say, thank the good spirits. Always be thanking the good spirits, putting on good energy of gratitude. And that changes the current. See, that purifies the bad air. Say, oh, thank you, thank you. You know, in, in the spirit of my love, say thank you and gratitude. Say thank you, goodness. Thank you. We say that. And then you can change the current by saying, "No, you're not. You're not wanted here. Thank you for leaving, and I'll be thanking you even more once you're out of here, leaving my people alone." See, see so all, all is constant. See, parents have to be constantly cultivating this protection see, for themselves and the family. It's not going to, let's say, work against bad karma that's created, but it's going to feel it's going to feel better, generally. See, some people go to church and they're praying continually, and stuff happens to their kids, not because of their lack of prayer or the weakness of their devotion, but because it's a child's karma, and you got to face the reality. They have the child is a certain way; they're going to be drawing certain things to them because of their nature. And it's not, not anything you can do about that except pray for them, knowing what their nature is that could create problems for themselves. Not wishing anything negative on anybody. They're always thanking the good spirits. You know, thank the good spirits to help your, your children or your family, your loved ones. If you can do that, that's, that's good practice. See? Or your friends that you love. Or your animals that you love. Or your trees that you love, whatever you love. I mean, nothing is permanent. So, you know, you're giving them good energy to, to live live with, by putting that love out to them and embracing them. Um, 